I'm Jeff and I'm the owner here of the Larry Edmonds Bookshop. Welcome. We're 80 years here in Hollywood and we've spent the majority of that time here on Hollywood Boulevard since the 50s. And we're celebrating right now the Quentin Tarantino production getting ready to get underway for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And we're celebrating that because they're recreating my old storefront at the old address here on Hollywood Boulevard, 66. 58, which is where our store spent almost 40 years uh, before we moved to our current address, 6644 Hollywood Boulevard, where we still are, people. We're not just past history. We are still living and breathing history right here now today. So come and visit us. Pick up a book. Come on down the street and take a look at what was 50 years ago as well and celebrate the Hollywood of the past right here in the present. And uh, we hope we see you soon at one of our shows. We're at LarryEdmonds.com if you want to take a look. And uh, come pay us a visit. Thanks so much. Thanks, Jeff. Your store is really cool. I love going in there. you got a lot of great stuff. You know, I don't think we're going to really learn much from this new movie. It's going to be kind of like a James Elroy thriller, probably. But, you know, they're working hard on it. And look at this pussycat theater that they've sort of built next door to the old Larry Edmonds. Um, in fact, they've even found, uh, looks like, a secret passage on the roof. Watch this worker. He just disappears. Maybe found a coffee and donut shop down there. But anyway, we got a nice view here of what the film crew's been doing, but doesn't really look like it did in 1969 to me. In fact, you know, look at this. Donald Sutherland running down the street. Alex in Wonderland, 1970, at the New View Theater. So, the Pussycat wasn't even there in 1969. They made a boo-boo. But hey, it's just a movie. Who cares, right? But they did recreate Peaches Records and Tapes. I mean, I remember that. That was a great record shop. But uh, that's long gone. And somehow I don't think Charlie's people would be hanging around the Vogue Theater or Musso and Frank's, which is the headquarters of the movie company right now. In fact, it's closed for business because of the movie situation. But they're working hard. They're doing a lot of good stuff. But I don't think Charlie needed to go to the Pussycat Theater. I mean, he had his own gals out there in the desert they had their own pussycat situation i think from what i've heard don't know from first hand of course uh here's uh larry edmonds the new shop and down the street about a block and a half is the old recreated reconstituted larry edmonds now that nice sign look at that beautiful sign too bad he couldn't have taken that with him because he doesn't really have a big sign where he is now it's just kind of a small sign, and you can't really see it, but the building owner didn't want it up there. It's kind of interesting that on August 8th every year is the anniversary of Sharon Tate and her party having their last meal on Earth at the El Coyote restaurant in West Hollywood on Beverly Boulevard. Interestingly enough, Quentin Tarantino is now the owner of the movie theater across the street from El Coyote. Well, almost across the street. So we can expect some filming around there, probably. Are you going to learn anything from all that? Mm, probably not. But hey, go to mansonsbackporch.com, and you probably will learn a lot. It's a great website, packed with a lot of information. And check out whatuphollywood.com. We've got some cool stuff up there. Thanks for listening to this, and have a great day. Thank you.